Hey guys, this is Dave with Moneyology. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. Thanks for joining us on this Uranium Sector Review on January 21st, 2018. For those of you who haven't followed uh, our videos as of yet, what we try to do is we take a look at various different sectors from different perspectives. Uh, in terms of our charting, we typically approach things from a weekly perspective. It uh, removes the short-term noise that's found in the hourly uh, and sometimes even daily charts, and it gives us a better perspective on what's actually taking place uh, from a 30,000-foot level. And uh, our my personal perspective is that I like to swing, uh, swing swing sectors that are uh, in longer term uptrends and and or bottoming bottoming out of long term downtrends with any in any event let's take a look at the uranium ETF URA and then we're going to look at the various names in the uranium space to see what's going on in the in the actual sector so starting with the monthly perspective on the uranium global uranium ETF so first things first it's in a, it's above the middle Bollinger Band on a monthly basis. That's very, very positive. The MACDs are moving in a positive direction. The the two moves in November and December were uh, up moves were on very strong volume. The down move so far this month ha has been on very weak volume. That's a very positive development. Uh, it's consolidating here right below the 50 on the monthly on the on the monthly 50 level RSI. Uh, it's it's basically created positive divergence where momentum now is at the same level where momentum was when uranium was at about 19. Uh, uranium ETF was around 19. That's positive divergence. Overall, what I see here from uh, on the monthly perspective is that this is in a bottoming pattern here, and uh, we'll we'll eventually, in our opinion, this year we'll break out of this 20. Uh, 20 area and move towards 30. This is going to be a massive, massive opportunity. Uh, it's just hard to time exactly when it's going to start and how fast it's going to go. Obviously, it's been very, very slow moving thus far, but I think right now we we are at a very, very good, very good opportunity. And you'll see there are a lot of great, uh, great names to be purchased on very, very massive discounts. If you have the cash available, now will be a very good time to uh, initiate or add two positions. So look at the weekly, uh, same chart but weekly uh, perspective, and uh, we had a nice run. We rallied all the way from 11.59 to a high of 16. That's a pretty si solid move, and now we're pulling back here. We broke below the 15 support level, uh, and so knocked out a lot of uh, a lot of longs who potentially use that as a stop loss level. And now we're we're hovering right above the 50 weekly EMA around 13.90 as well as the middle Bollinger level, which is 1391. Uh, we're, likely, we're likely going to retest this 50 level on the weekly, uh, weekly RSI, which coincides with a very strong level of support here, which here was a level of resistance. And here, right over here, was the level where we broke down uh, the last time around. So um, bottom line is this 50 level is very important. I think it's gonna hold. And we, we may have another week or two to go lower. We may not. Bottom line is, right now is a very, very interesting time in the uranium space. Now looking at the daily chart to give us even a better perspective, this particular area of support around 38.40 level on the RSI where the, this cursor is, is the level of support that we found. Uh, this, this is the level where once we broke out of this level here, this is what, when the major rally happened in November. So sure enough, momentum's taking back. Uh, some of its gains and now it's retracing double bottoming in, in precisely the exact same spot uh, where it broke out of here in November at much lower levels. Moreover, right now there's basically a we're at a lower price point here than we were just a couple of days ago whereas momentum is slightly higher. It's creating a positive divergence. It's right below the 50 on the daily moving average which again is very often the case because we uh, the market makers like to uh, knock people out of their stop losses, which typically are set right at, uh, the amateur set these losses right at these moving averages. So they break, they, they break down below them. Moreover, 1450 is a very strong support zone. Why? Well, we, we held this, it was support here, it was support here, uh, it was resistance here, it was resistance here, it was resistance here, 
um, support support so this is a very important level here and so I think that this is gonna hold and if I think now we're gonna start likely churning higher again so this is a good opportunity as you'll see in a lot of these names uh, they've pulled back some from their massive rally and now is the time we want to uh, get back in so uh, starting with Cameco the major player in the space it broke out of this downtrend uh, in November and it's basically consolidated uh, by back testing this breakout point twice now and um, and and basically getting rid of its uh, momentum on the one hand but on the other hand uh, it's it's setting up for another run higher in our opinion uh, don't be surprised to see Cameco hit 13 within the next couple of months and and go ultimately towards a high of 23 by the year end Denison Mines DNN. This looks a little bit weak right now, to be honest, because I don't like I don't like the fact that it's it's broken below the 50 uh, uh, on a weekly closing basis. Now, if it holds 50 cents here, uh, I think it might recapture this and have a very strong week this week. But we'll see. Uh, you don't want to see the 50 broken. Uh, there might be something going on with the company. Uh, so for for uh, for our uh, taste, we're we're gonna stay away. Encore Energy, this is a name that I believe has a very, very strong potential. It's got very, very nice assets, exploratory assets around the world. And just just the way the chart is setting up, it's just, it looks like it had a rounded base here for six months. It broke out. Now, it, basically, there's a bullish flag here. And it's found support on this breakout zone around uh, five and a half. And our opinion is it's going to head towards ten possibly 15 cents at some point this year and uh, if you've got access to the Canadian exchange this is a name that you really want to look at energy fuels you 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 uh, this one similar to Cameco broke out of this downtrend and now it's been consolidating by back testing this breakout point uh, but again like Denison this one broke below the 50 on the weekly RSI so for for our standpoint if we don't own it we don't want to touch this one until one of two things happens it breaks back above the 50 on the on the on the RSI or uh, it finds support here at the 38 level um, uh, this this particular line here if it finds support here and that would be a good a good point to add uh, next on the list is fusion uranium corp FC UUF now this one looks very very good why do I say that? Well, it's 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 uh, first of all, um, basically stair step mul uh, multiple points of higher higher lows and basically higher highs. It built positive divergence with this double top, where price was basically at the same level, whereas uh, momentum was slightly higher here. We couldn't quite break above that 70 marker on RSI, so we pulled back, which is fine. Now we're retesting the 60 to 61 level uh, versus 50. So there's, it's a solid area of support here. And uh, you know, for us, this is a very strong buy point above 60 cents. And in other words, the, the downside here is the combination of the 50 EMA of 55 and uh, the middle Bollinger Band of 56. And the upside is if it breaks out above 70, which also coincides with the 200 EMA, this can have a massive run, uh, likely um, going into the mid, mid ones to possibly into the twos and beyond. Very good fundamental story behind this name. It's been basing here for two and a half, three years. And its MACDs are basically at multi-year highs. And so that's another very, very strong positive sign. And again, look at the volume on the up, upswing. Look at the volume on the downswing. That's very important. Uh, looking at GovEx Uranium. Uh, this one, this one looks fairly good right now. Um, based on the chart here, it's it made a nice move from 17 cents all the way to 33. Had very strong momentum here, where momentum was basically at the same level at 33 cents as it was when price was at 44 cents. And it's pulled back some. Obviously, if you buy it here, you're not feeling too good here. But it's had a nice uh, hammer pattern. Found support at the 50 weekly moving average, right as MACDs were curling under zero. But it's very possible they're going to start curling back upward. And if that's the case, if this this particular you draw this line like this and it breaks above, let's say 
27 28 cents that's your sign that uh, it wants to move higher likely towards that 50 uh, area 45 to 50 zone on on, on govx now also notice that we're consolidating above that 50 rsi uh, point and that's very very important it coincides notice here i'm just going to go down here this is exactly the point from where which we broke out of so once we broke above 50 that's when we had this massive move from about 17 and a half cents all the way to 25 and then started the move all the way to 33 now that's serving as support so uh, you want to see this hold if it does this is a good good point to, to buy um, by this particular name mega uranium which is basically a shell company for next-gen energy uh, we're, this one looks very strong. It's consolidating above uh, its 250 and middle Bollinger Bands on the weekly. And it, it it looks like it wants to head higher towards 25. Although it, it's had trouble breaking above that 60, 61 area on RSI. Looks like it wants to retest the 50 level. So it might be consolidating here for just a little bit longer. But if you look at NextGen, which is, is the company that... Um, mega basically tracks it broke below the 50 on the weekly rsi so that's on the one hand that's a negative development um but this is one of those names where look it's it's rallied from 27 cents all the way to 34 three dollars and 34 uh, 40 cents basically when the uranium market was was dead they've got a tremendous management team with a very good track record and they continue to uh, release very positive uh, news fundamental news markets just not respecting the uranium space but at the same time it's it's hovering above uh, the hovering about 50 uh, EMA and middle ball and middle Bollinger Band support around a 230 area and uh, so long as that holds this thing likely moves higher and uh, but you want to see this curl back and break above the 50 area on the RSI otherwise it, there's a risk that this pulls back towards two but from our standpoint this is a long-term play if you've got if you've got the the time frame uh, and the patience this this is a very good place to add because once this breaks above three you now this probably goes to six to ten dollars uh, possibly higher as uranium ultimately rebounds it's a question of when not if Sky Harbor Resources, another very well managed company, uh, another one that's rallied from 2016 onward. Now it's been basing here for the better part of 2017 and now into 2018. It's pulled back some after its rally from 24 cents to 42 cents. That was a nice move. And now it's, uh, it's basically washing some weak hands out here, breaking below the 50 on the weekly RSI. Uh, I would be, I'm a buyer here. I'm a buyer here. Uh, any, any loose loose ammo I have I will be um, adding to Sky Harbor or initiating position Sky Harbor and hopefully we'll be able to catch this before it breaks out higher but this this has very very strong long-term potential uh, your and your energy URG this one looks good too I mean look at it's it's had a nice move from 50 all the way to 79 it's consolidating above that 61 level on our side it hasn't pulled back um, unlike other names that we've seen it's starting to get accumulated here the cash money flow is very positive uh, once this breaks 90 this can run really fast towards two dollars so really like the upside here on your energy UEC probably the best managed company uh, in the space and uh, this one has assets in the US and that's very positive in terms of uh, very safe jurisdiction uh, it's pulled back after a very nice move from 96 to two dollars we kind of called this over here and it's it had an explosive move now it's pulled back towards 164 uh, but ultimately you know for, from my standpoint I would love to for it to pull back even more um, but I, I'm a buyer here I think any any price above the 200 uh, when at 150 in the 50 uh, weekly you may have 144 in the middle Bollinger band of 147 there's a ton of support here it's above the 50 on the weekly uh, RSI and so this is a tremendous area of value uh, between 1 145 and 160 get accumulate as much as you possibly can if you if you're a long-term investor this is going to hit three dollars this year it's going to break three dollars and likely head even higher uh there are no guarantees in this in this uh in this field but it's the probability is very high uh and looking at western uranium corp this this company looks like it's uh kind of dead man walking wouldn't touch this uh, Westwater Resources, this is one that we currently own right now. Um, it's, it's struggling to break above that middle Bollinger Band. We thought it was about ready to do so here. 
uh, we thought that uh, with the MACDs having crossed zero, it was going to break higher, and it hasn't done so. So, uh, so far, it's been a disappointing trade, to be honest. Uh, it's still consolidating above this 38 zone, and we, we still like its upside. Uh, stochastics are, uh, are moving higher. Uh, money flow is moving in a positive direction. And this is one that's very, very leveraged to uranium as well as lithium space. So we like the fundamental story. We can hang on a little bit longer. Um, but ultimately, if this can't break above that 110 zone, 120 zone in the next couple of weeks, probably goes back and retest 76, especially if the uranium space is not uh, picking up steam and continues to, to show weakness. Ultimately, guys, I, I like the uranium space right now. I think that there's a lot of upside, and I think you'll you'll benefit if you can uh, have the patience right now to uh, and and the, I, I guess the the long term perspective to, to buy here and hold hold uh, into any volatility. I think you'll be rewarded very handsomely. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I want to point out that we are kind of relaunching our Patreon campaign. We're going to have a new video up. Uh, for that campaign very soon. If you like our videos, guys, and if you appreciate the hard work that uh, we do to make these videos happen, uh, it would mean a lot to us if you can support uh, the work that we're doing. We're putting a lot of our personal capital to create these videos and to educate the audience. And uh, we want to make th this content free for as long as possible. So if you can, if you can make a $10 monthly pledge, or uh, better yet, a $25 monthly pledge, it's going to allow us to create better content, higher quality content, more often. And uh, it, it'll mean a lot to us, and I think uh, you'll you'll really like the work that we're gonna we've got in store. We've got some partnerships that we're looking at right now with other uh, investors and active traders. And so the more resources we have, the uh, the more likes we have on our videos, the more subscriptions we have on YouTube, and ultimately the more uh, support monetary support we get through Patreon, uh, it'll help us a lot. So would appreciate uh, any pledges that you can make. Uh, it would help us a great deal. Thanks, and uh, have, a, have yourself a great week.